Hi, this is Teal from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I want to show you one of the bags that I use to pack my outdoor sketching kit. This is the Herringbone camera bag. But I use this not as a camera bag, but as a bag to pack my sketching material. It's a postman messenger bag. Comes with a strap. This is the air bubble cushion. One thing I really like about this bag is the canvas material that they use. It's really very tough and it feels very durable. At the bottom you have these four metal things that you can use to rest your bag on. One of the main reasons why I like this bag is because it has a lot of pockets. You have side pockets here, inside you have a few more pockets. I'm going to show you later. And at the back here, you have a po big pocket that I use to put my sketchbook. This pocket here can fit a sketchbook that is about five and a quarter inch by eight and a quarter inch. It cannot fit an A5 sketchbook, but it will fit a sketchbook that is slightly smaller than A5. So the exact dimension is what I've mentioned just now. It comes with a nice carrying handle as well. Let me show you what's inside the bag. Herringbone is made by a Korean company, but they sell this not on their store, but at online stores like Amazon, eBay, and other places. I bought this bag at a camera shop here in Singapore. Uh, you can loosen up the strap, you feel a lot of things inside the bag. The strap here is actually closed by using magnets, so you can actually close this back very fast. Let's see what's inside. There's a flap that covers the main compartment. This one is also has uh, magnets built inside, so you can close it very fast. What I have is a water bottle. My water brushes, I only put this in for illustration purposes because I don't use uh, water brushes nowadays. I have my pens, brush pen, fountain pen. So they have these two side compartments here, left and right, which are very handy for putting the pens. This is a camera bag actually, so they have these compartments for you to put your camera. Sometimes if I bring my camera out, I may sling it, but when I'm drawing it, I will put it into the bag. And there's this um, water bottle. This is for washing my watercolor brush. There's also, there are also two more compartments here, the front and the back. I, sometimes I use these compartments to put pieces of paper Then we have another compartment here and inside this compartment we have one, two, three pockets. We have a zip pocket, two smaller pockets and then a bigger pocket. So sometimes I put clips here. So let me show you the side pocket. This is the side pocket where you put my watercolor box complete with our travel brush and on the other side I put some paper towels so that I can reach for them if I need them in emergency so at the back here is the big pocket that I showed you earlier this is a uh, Slightly smaller than A5. This is an A5 sketchbook. This one is from Steelman and Burn. This is exactly A5. And this one is smaller. So you can see that the difference. And because it's smaller, it's able to squeeze into this bag. The other sketchbooks that you can squeeze into this bag would be the Strathmore 400 series paperback version. Moleskine um, watercolor sketchbook same size as this this one and the pentallic watercolor sketchbook 100% cotton 
same size as this one. So it's very easy to just slip it inside. This sketchbook is the Global Art Materials Watercolor Journal. I really like this bag because there are so many pockets, you can put a lot of stuff, but when you put pack this bag with all your art materials, it can be a bit heavy. And that's I think is the downside. But I really like it. I'm not sure of the exact price, but I'll post a link to where you can find it online. That's all for today's uh, review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so for more sketching tips and techniques, art product reviews and sketchbooks feature. Thanks and have a nice day.